Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we're live tonight with Christian. What up? And Anna. I'll try again. Good evening. And a special guest. No one important. There, there you go. So, somebody else that has to figure. I don't know. So tonight we are uh, reviewing Shatter Glass Megatron. So, Yay, Megatron. So even even the Shatter Glass can't bring uh, Surge on the show, but we at least got somebody else who's excited about Shatter Glass. So. Did could, you see Bah Humbug? We could review Goldbug instead. What uh, is that? What is that garbage? I made him because this is how he should have looked. It's fake bug. Feel head. Mm. I did okay. it. It's, it's it, better. It looks, it looks nice. You, Thanks, you did man. good. You did good. I don't agree it's, that's how it should have been, but it looks nice. It's the false Dude. prophet of goldness. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Megatron. Whoa, there he is. He's also behind you. Not like you're surprised. Yeah, uh, yeah, look at you doing artsy fartsy things. Yeah, I didn't make my I didn't emphasis, make my fan tonight. Emphasis on the fart. You're you're a little too fancy with those backgrounds there, Paul. Well, it's better than a blank nothing. Uh, I guess I'm the only you... one with alt in, in his alt mode. So there you go. And yeah, how did you know, get his wings I would have been. What did I do? How did you get his wings out further? You they're put him on, in the arms. On his arms. Yeah, they're on his yeah. lower arms or upper that arms. That makes way or more sense. I had they actually back. look better like this, in my opinion. Yeah, you're kind of doing the same the same configuration as I am, with the. Yeah, you pretty can, much. You can it's use better. the sword. You can turn the sword into a second cannon. It makes it look more correct. It, it does not look good. Oh. It doesn't work great. Looks Even better than that bum rate. Work great. So let's get wow. started. Oh. <laughs> I'm busted. Who wow. got busted? Me. Me. I started both, talking both about serious things and stopped paying attention to your nonsense. I was just kidding, Kristen. I'll just go cry by myself now. Don't worry about it. Better than crying with someone else. I guess. I don't know. I just wanted to say that. So this is the 75th repaint of the Megatron yeah. world from Siege. And it's the best one. Pretty exciting. <laughs> and I it is, in know. fact, the only good one. This one's pretty no, good. It, I'm going to say this is definitely the best take on this mold. For but the one sure. that Lucas just held up, either of the Netflix ones, because who can tell the difference? Who cares? Uh, this is good. The Netflix ones, because it just it's sitting on my floor because I don't know what to do with it. So it's a good place for toys. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there a PF version of that too coming? Is yeah. There? Oh yeah. I, think so. I, I think feel like so. I almost have to get it because. You know, like, I'm so far down gotta, the path now at this all. point, right? Like... See, okay, so this is the sins of mold collecting. So they, they just released pictures of that stupid cliff jumper with gray arms and legs. And I had said that I'm mold collecting that stupid mold. So now I have to own a slightly different cliff jumper in order to actually do that. Am I Welcome okay with that? Does that? Can I look at myself okay. in the mirror in the morning so, to be like, I'm okay? So there is know. a significant difference, I feel like, between that cliff jumper and the other one that came out like the two megatrons you couldn't tell like, like if i get handed you one of those Me netflix megatrons like i i don't know that you'd be able to tell which one it was i i no. think you can't either it's very difficult especially with the pf one too it's like oh my god they're all the same they're all the same it's absolutely true and yes you're right the cliff jumper is more different but it's still a same rabbit hole that might betray you. Oh, well, Welcome yeah. to mold collecting, Anna. That's right. <laughs> I feel betrayed. I don't yeah. feel betrayed by this, though. Like, I... For this figure, I just had this, like, 
when it first got released, I was like, oh my God, I'm tired of that mold. When pictures first got released, I'm tired of that mold. I'm tired of existing. Adding stupid parts to a stupid figure is stupid. I'm angry at it. Yet I ordered it. And I, w- I kept wondering, why in the world can't I cancel those things? I kept looking at it and thinking, it really does look good in pictures, even though it insults me intellectually that it exists. So I waited for it to come, and I really love it. What's up with that? Because the color layout is awesome. And maybe What's it's awesome? Because we've been the color layout. Oh, yes, it is. And maybe it's just because we've gotten, you know, 17,000 gray ones that look pretty much the same. That's and this one same. is not gray for once. And it, and it could be just that. But honestly, I really think Shadow Glass Megatron's colors in general are good. And they look good on this mold, too. The head looks cool, too. You know what yes. I haven't? I haven't seen this compared to the actual original. I already put mine away. Sorry. Oh, uh, mine is somewhere, you know, like <laughs> way, way I, I restored go. mine over the summer. We could have, we could have done that way to be prepared for, for the show. Sorry. Cause I think it's pretty, so, it's pretty close. Like even plastic color wise and everything. Like it, it's very yeah. reminiscent. If, if, if anything to the, the original. white color here is brighter than the gray color on the original shadow glass Megatron. Meaning that this is trash and not accurate enough. Right. That's what you do, Paul. You just Let's get rid of it. Christian, please switch the wings. Please switch them to what? Swap them so they're aiming down. They look goofy. Like them aiming up. Okay. But, 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 yeah, I agree. I- I'm with Paul on this one. So I, what they were what? referring it's to his figure, he can display it. How it he is. Wants. It is. I've got, I can just look every time I see his. I can just turn my eyes quick to mine. And be like, well, oh, it's okay. You, you have a, <laughs> uh, a fifty dollars accessory on yours. So. Oh yes, I uh, I think I saw this somewhere. I'm not the originator of this concept, but putting the the one of the eight million Megatrons that comes with this Matrix accessory, putting that around him actually kind of is cool because this is good Megatron, right? He should have the Matrix. So this is a sure. way to give it to him. It's weird that it's like strapped to his chest, but it actually looks neat because the the blue and the yellow on the on the accessory actually ex- are they look they look correct, you know, like they they place well with him. Part so, of the reason I, I bought that set for Black Friday was to do that because of you. Oh, well, I, uh good good man. I, I wish that uh, we could get more of those accessories. It'd be nice if it came with this, just simply so we didn't have to buy the fifty dollars set to to get it. But it is a really cool accessory. So when they were referring cool. to when they were referring to the original, they were referring to the first Shattered Glass Megatron, which was what Energon Megatron, yeah. right? It was the smaller. The ultra class one, not the leader one. Yeah, the two pack yeah. one, which was a little minute. What actually probably scales with this? It's probably actually a little taller, right? A little bit taller than this. And basically, this color scheme, but it's a different. It's a very different figure, and the <laughs> vehicle mode that it transforms into is what this one is attempting to homage with Lucas's picture. Kinda. You don't think they it's were not, trying to homage that? They were definitely trying to homage that. I think they that. needed to get a flight mode. I don't think it's anywhere close to the original figure. It has blue wings. Did that one have blue wings? It did. Yeah, it's got some cannons and stuff and a cockpit. A flight mode, yes. It's close. I mean... I think it's it's pretty close because the original one was just sort of a, a flying brick to begin with, with like a cool. cockpit. You know, like it did have the cool the X wing spring loaded wings. That's that was nice. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And it had so, the giant I mean, tank on it. I I will say, you know, this the uh, the whatever like. Alt mode does not look great, but it's better than some of the other Cybertronian modes that, like Soundwave, it looks better than that, probably. Yep. Um, it looks better than 8-Face, like, I mean, that was 
kind of garbage. It was pretty bad. I disagree with you about Ape Face, but I do agree with you about Soundwave. I do want to I go think... back to talk about the tank that Paul mentioned, because that's Rumbler. And I really feel like this release for the price could have come with a redeco of the MicroMaster Bomb Shock. And that would be Rumbler. I did buy a set when they were on clearance so I can make my own, but uh, I seem to be doing that a lot with Shadow Glass now, making my own. Technically, he can transform into a tank. So I wonder if you just do, if you put it as a tank, but then you, like, is there any way to put these accessories on as a tank too? He could have a tank with wings. Sure, you could. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm with Anna. Like, I think that's where they thought, like, well, it turns into a tank, so check that box, you know? I think so. Which is fine, because this is literally a mold that is a tank getting three parts added to it and being called a flyy thingy. It's it's a really, it's something that doesn't happen very often, right? Like light remolding is one thing, but a re-release where you stick three parts on it and call it a different vehicle, that's that's pretty unique. It kind of turns yeah. Shattered Glass Megatron into his own thing, whereas before he was simply a recolor of an existing mold, and so it was all we had at the time. And remember, that's, that Energon Megatron is an homage to Galvatron. So there's all this weird, like, mixed morphing lineage that um, gets a little bit murky. Without, ha- without having had that to, to reference, I think it would have been, the flight mode would probably look fine. Because it's, you know, you're not thinking, oh, it doesn't look like the original one. Which, I mean, it only did that because it was remolded from that Energon, Energon toy. I, I almost wonder if they even considered making this out of the Galvatron toy. I don't know. I thought that would make more sense before we got the release, but it works like this. Lucas, are you on flighting yours? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna have I was gonna have Lucas hold it up while he still had it in flight mode oh, to point I'm out sorry. the real problem with this figure, but the real what's problem the, with this figure for problem? me is that the the flight mode, which is you know the official flight mode has the gap between the two legs as part of the continuous part of the vehicle and it doesn't look good like that needs to be covered there are ways you can cover it like if you finagle the sword piece into it you can cover up that gap pretty well where from the top and from like a 45 degree angle you don't see it so it starts to look like a better jet but i really don't like that Yeah, it's obnoxious. I mean, I think it looks it's whatever. Like I don't I don't know that, you know, outside of you know, just doing it once that I'm ever going to have it in there. So like if you put this on here, I mean I guess I don't know, if I could figure out a way to stick this on top somehow. It might ah, be you tanked it. Yeah, I tanked it. Did you put the wings the on the side? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That'll work. It kind of looks like a jet, I guess. If I could put the cockpit on the top, it would work. Now, see, there is the there's what I really like about these pieces. What I it really like, like about the, these pieces, looks... they're encouraging us to play with it. They're mm-hmm. encouraging us to stick them where it seems fun and to mess around with it and adjust it and kind of like adjust the figure with extra parts. That's a really cool thing to encourage right now because we have all these freaking modulators laying around and, and bonizers and you just, what are you going to do with them other than actually use them? And this encourages you to start thinking like that. So I think that's really cool about this. And we need some shattered glass modulators. I guess we have that, that galactic odyssey set. You could, you can, you could probably attach one of those Skylinks guys to this. It would look pretty cool. It probably would, yeah. The colors would match up pretty well. Hey, real quick, Lucas, can you show that again? The tank mode with the wings and stuff? Because it hold looks on. like something. I want to see if Christian agrees with me. Oh, well, sorry. So I just, I'm like oh, messing with me. my figure. What, what does it, it looks, look like? It looks like the Wonder. Or the Wonder. Doesn't it? It kind of does. Kind of? <laughs> oh, that's weird. deep no no one else knows what we're talking about that's okay it's not okay but 
looks up. Well, no one ever needs to know what you're talking about. That's just my life. There you go. I'm a teacher, so it's what I have to do. You no, know, they really could have just not made the new parts at all and been like, Shadowgrass Megatron, he's a tank now. And that's just, that's what you get. They could have They could have. They could have yeah. just and made I him really white. I really appreciate that they didn't. Yeah, it, like, it felt it felt lazy and silly at first, but, I mean, it is extra parts, it is more costs, it is, you know, instead of just paying the extra cost for the comic book, we paid the extra cost for the comic book, but got some extra parts. So, yes. if you need to, if you need to think, I don't want to pay for a comic book, and you need to refinagle that into paying for the upgrade parts, you can think about that instead. I'm all about the mental gymnastics tonight. I don't know why. There, there you go. What you gotta do? See, this I figure think, inspires me. I almost think they meant it to work like this with the two cannons at the top because why would he have a so- two swords? You know, I like an so. arm, an arm sword, and a and a giant swingy sword. Because the swingy sword is attached to the mold. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But you know, they made them both. They made both the turrets blue, which is like. What they should be. And that's why the Galvatron mold wouldn't have worked unless they gave you two turrets. But then the alt mode would have been just complete garbage. I do think it needs the -the over-the-back cannons. And Shockwave's lab and other... I did not order them yet. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Nope, I would. I I was looking for a Black Friday coupon for eBay and they didn't launch one, so... Mm. But you guys can tell me if I'm doing it right, because this is the way you can do it. And it's like this, which looks cool, except yeah. he's got his whole ass sword sticking out his back. Oh, see, see, I, I angled, I angled the tur- the back pylons a bit. Yeah. And then you, you can, you can um, swing the, the extra bits down. Yeah, you can kind of get hang- him around the, around the t- treads. Yeah, it kind of hangs off his back like that. Sorry. Yeah, I've done that too. It's it's a little better that way. Yeah, there's obviously kibble, you know, but it's less intrusive than sticking off his back like that. It's funny for me because the problem with these turrets for me isn't that they look bad or they don't match or anything. It's just they're too far back. And they just look kind of odd when you set them okay, on like that. You, like, it's you, an homage. It's fine. What do you think about this? Thunder. <laughs> yeah. So. That looks just as much like a jet as the thing that the other, this package should thing. be. But yeah, yeah so this is does. this is like tank mode with uh, I uh, kind of finagled the I put the arms in backwards and then just stuck it, uh, you know, just stuck this on top on one of the things. So, but I'd pilot right. that. There, there you go. I want to address one thing about this figure, and it's that, like, it feels like it is almost the soap plastic, but not quite. Like, it's, like, the same color as the soap plastic from Ape Face and Friends, but it's a more solid-looking glass plastic. So it feels like this is the color that Ape Face should have been. Yeah, it, just, it looks I'll, better I'll to me. That. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel like it looks bad. I don't know. I no, don't... it's it's... When I first got it out of the package, I was like, oh, no, it's the soap plastic. And then I was like, wait, it's the same color as the soap plastic, but it's not the soap plastic. The heck is that the works for me. That? Lucas is going to get the ape face out and be like, it's a, no. actually the exact same plastic. No, I, I don't I know. I still where can't my make the cannons. I can't make the sword do the thing that you were showing. That's because I couldn't really see it, Paul. You ha- You have to turn the the pylons like at a not at a 45 degree angle yeah it, you have to get a little weird with it like they won't go sh- they won't aim straight like they're kind of like angled a little bit you like that I feel like i'm just bending the sword piece so, I'm gonna so what's that. what's shattered glass megatron's voice is it frank welker or is it like is it like uh David K being animated Optimus Prime. Well, I don't think they've ever said that. They only said what the voice was for um, Shadow Guys Optimus. What was that? <laughs> Which was Peter Cullen doing some Dungeons and Dragons villain that he did on, back in the day. All right. I, I was not around in that day, so you may know the character's name and I don't. Nope. 
All I know is cool. Eeyore. It could, it could be one of Frank Walker's other characters. Yes, it's Scooter. I knew you would go with Scooter. <laughs> I can trust you <laughs> with our fate. Yep, Shadow Grass Megatron is Scooter. That's is Scooter. Yep. Yep. Sorry, we called him Scoots for short. <laughs> it's horrible. Lady Leader One totally called Scooter Scoot all the time. It's true. So it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, I do feel like this needed a MicroMaster buddy to go with him. They made such a big deal about MicroMasters in the old Shadow Glass universe. Like, they're just around all the time. And, Micro- uh, yeah. MicroMasters are premium, man. They are a tier three stretch goal. They are a tier three stretch goal. <laughs> you do right. not get those easy. So, so Randall says that uh, Megatron is Frank's um, nibbler voice. About which? <laughs> Doesn't sound That's good. Fine. No, no, that works. Oh, not the squeaky version. He's actual speaking voice. Okay, okay. I like I like that oh, idea like... of uh, of having a. Having the MicroMaster, that would have been like, that would have put it over the top. I've got some time off from work coming up. I will paint up a rumbler and I'll, I'll post some pics. Perfect. That'll be exciting. I've got to figure out a way to mount Bomb Shock onto his arm because in tank mode, he doesn't have a peg that will go into Megatron's arm receiver here. I'll it's figure it funny out. that I'm finding that lately as I actually like start playing with these toys. Like I, I've been busy this semester, so I've haven't really been like really playing with the toys too much. But I'm thinking like over break, I'm gonna really get into it. And a lot of them just don't have enough ports for me to do the weird crap I want to do. So you guys know eventually, eventually you're just going to get inundated with pictures of me sticking bone monsters onto all my toys. It's been like, really like nice. It's that been that a long time coming. Yet. Yeah, I, I I've agree. enjoyed wow. that without that. But... Look, you guys don't like smiling. Don't like having nightmares. Are you gonna like me smiling? I guess. <laughs> well, unfortunately, those things aren't. No, they are exclusive. The rest of the world can't smile as long as I am. That's cool. You know, the rest of the world has nightmares if you <laughs> are smiling. I'm good with that. That's, that's incredibly mean. If you that is really that mean, context. actually. Only in the fossilizer context. That, that is really mean. My heart is so broken right now. So, wow. Anna Anywho, is, is looking forward to your bone horror show, she says. Fantastic. I mean, it's already started. I do have a necromancer shelf on my... Wonderful. I have an evil necromancer that kidnapped and killed Optimus and crucified him. It's it's blasphemous and awful and it's wonderful. Is that your alternate universe Optimus Prime? It is, it is. He's he's alternately dead. You should level Sacrifice up by an level evil up robot and get, necromancer. Get sleepy prime. Make it bigger. So one question I have is why is it that the Siege Megatron is the one that they've redecoed like five hundred times and like Earthrise Megatron they they release him once and they're like yeah we're we're done you know like he he barely got saturation and whatnot and then twice they, right he hardly came out <laughs> he hardly no I'm saying the original hardly came out like you could barely okay. find it like that particular wave and then yeah. they never repacked it or anything like that and then they released the G two one and then they're like all right we're done and then siege it's like we get like seven I mean if you guys want Earthrise Megatron my Ollie's has like. 400 of them. Oh, really? Do I have any Quintessons? No. I I still need to get the GT1. Problem solved. Sword pieces removed. Oh, Oh, well, that works. Actually, it looks better like that. And it doesn't matter because it's not... He's not supposed to have the sword in the first place. So, yeah, that that works, Christian. They just need that matrix. I encourage creativity with my choice. Yeah, it's too bad they. Like it's too bad Skelivor is purple and not blue, or you could just bone it, bone this guy right up. Yeah, you could. I could do it with transmutate, I guess. No, nah, you could. Mm. Wait for a, a blue, blue one. repaint of blue repaint of wing finger. 
Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Any repeat of what we'd figure is good times, so okay. Maybe one of those record ones will be blue. Isn't that a and bar it's... that we haven't got a repaint of Wing Finger? I know you guys really love fossilizers. Wing Finger is the best one. Wing Finger's coming. I believe. I have faith. He'll if be you in. I believe. I'll pretend I believe. He'll be in a buzzworthy Bumble Balls pack or something. Like, yep. who knows? Buzzworthy but... Wing Finger. They'll make it well, red, and they'll be pre pterosaur like well, uh, Skelivor's pre-Megatron. Yeah, like, well, I think we said on the show the other day, like, we were talking about the leaks, right? And Buzzsaw's coming. We have no idea where that's coming in. And okay. I just, I threw out, like, well, they got another, we already know there's bump, Buzzworthy stuff coming. Maybe they're going to oh, do another four pack. Buzzworthy Buzzsaw. They're... they're... Re, they're making a joke on the wiki, a real thing, because Buzzsaw's wiki entry says kid appeal application rejected, wrong kind of bug. So they're gonna put him in the bumblebee line and be like, "Ha ha, he's a bumblebee now." It's gonna be great. He should be B worthy Buzzsaw. <laughs> yes. Buzz balls. So I think <laughs> we've probably reviewed this mold like nine times on this show. Yeah. Um, Probably. generally we like it okay as a team yeah. I would say like it's not bad it's not the best it's definitely not the best the best but not it's movie. definitely good enough it's movie the good enough <laughs> movie the good enough <laughs> I, don't know. The good I, enough. I feel like with this one I'm never going to put it back into tank or jet mode whatever it's it's going to stay in alt mode I've got like I five have... other versions to put into tank mode Right now, I'm never, I'm trying to find damnedest to put it into jet mode, but I don't remember what it looks like, so I'm looking at a picture and wondering what the hell it is. It's just tank mode where you don't fold up the legs. Yeah. Is that all it is? Yeah. yeah. yeah and then, and then you just put that piece over the top, and then it, it hides stuff. I tried way too hard, then, to make it a new thing. I mean, yep. this is still one of the best Megatron molds like that has ever yeah. existed. Everyone yeah. just forgets because this is like the greatest prime mold that has ever existed and they compare them forever. Yeah. The Wait, Siege prime and Earthrise the Prime are the Siege and Earthrise Prime. I mean they're essentially oh, the same. Right. Yeah. They're definitely not the same actually after, after transforming this for the first time the other night I was like, "Whoa, this is surprising." <laughs> but um the they're still thing... both really good. Like, I really like the Siege Optimus. The only thing about it is it just has more kibble to it, like, compared to Earthrise. And, like, if they could get that kibble, like, if if there's a way that they could have done that. Like, that's where I like the Earthrise, where it just kind of, you know, a lot of that stuff just kind of flips up, you know, in the backpack and whatnot, too, so. Yeah, I guess I'm just saying this thing got overshadowed by a far superior, you know, yeah, Foil. But the Megatron was really good too. Um, yeah, especially when they started painting it. The first issue in yeah. Siege was not as good, but once they started painting it for Netflix, either one of them, and now this one, uh, well, definitely, definitely recommend. And that's where I feel like the Earthrise is kind of the same way, where you're just like blah. Like I actually think the tank mode on the Earthrise one's really good. Um, so I may just leave leave that one in tank mode and whatnot but yeah the like the painted up bot mode of uh the siege one is is really nice like either one of those netflix ones yeah it seems like the second netflix could have easily been the earthrise mold instead of the siege mold and do the same paint treatment instead of making the same figure again that was really strange could have been and that would have been really cool to get it again right like i remember i was really hoping that this would at least be the Earthrise Megatron. If it had to be a Megatron and not a Galvatron, like I thought it would be, I was hoping it would be. But then it was like, no, you've been betrayed. Well, it kind of makes sense for this one to be the the shattered glass Megatron. Yeah, because yeah. he's Cybertronian. You know, like the whole shattered glass universe is sort of on Cybertron. Ain't none of those pesky humans. What are the sh- what are shattered glass humans? Just Nebulons or something? Or are we? Yeah, they're still humans. Robo dudes. <laughs> And do that's they're just opposite of what they normally are in the old shadow glass universe circuit breaker was uh teaming up with the decepticon she was a good girl good guy good good girl good character a good person good a person. hero he used a the term hero. hero there you go 
a heroic all the person bot. Are like thugs. So That's what's sh- so what's Shatterglass Christian? Uh, hmm. Buddy, I guess you gotta ask Serge. He'll tell you. Shatterglass. People Anna. laughing at my jokes. That's what Shatterglass Christian is. Probably. Appreciates my humor. It's a dangerous road to go down describing everyone's shattered glass alter- alternative alternaverse yeah, because they might get offended. <laughs> it is. It is. No, I think it could definitely go. This this could go wrong. <laughs> I would just be so nice. It would be it'd be weird. <laughs> you you would sell figures for less than they're worth. I would not. Well, first off, I would not own Transformers. That would. <laughs> there you go. That would already. I'd, I'd probably own like, you know, stamps. Ugh. I would collect stamps. Wow. Oh, here we go. Shattergrass Christian has no facial hair. Oh, okay. you don't want to meet that guy. <laughs> he looks like a baby. Okay. Okay. So. I'll go with that. I, I do feel like at this submission? point it's a prerequisite uh, uh, to be on the show that you have to have some kind of facial hair. I think <laughs> almost all the guys uh, on the show do. Anna does not. A prerequisite. Okay. Almost all the guys. <laughs> I guess almost I all the guys. Uh, I guess the I, I get a good toilet paper beard. There you go. <laughs> nice. It's the best I had. I didn't have any hair sitting around. A lot of people would have just taken their long hair and made a, a beard or a mustache. Yeah, they would have done something like this, right? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I went for what was what came to my head first. I appreciate that about you. Yeah, yeah. yeah Shatterglass so Anna would have a beard. Oh, oh. That's terrible. <laughs> made of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, boy. Here. Wow. Okay. That, we, yeah, sorry, I got anything say. else to say? Like on this? Definitely remove your sword pieces. It looks fantastic this way. I wanted to show my favorite yes. thing about this thing, but it took me so damn long to transform it. All right. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing? Well, now I have to transform a stupid bumblebee to do it too. Show us. Please. Yeah. Okay. Well, this idiot likes to hold onto his butt really hard. You think we'll get Shattered Glass Red Series toys? Oh be, God! They'll be, they should be Green Series. <laughs> I think we might see. It would be Purple this. Series. I don't think we would Duh. see a Megatron. They just showed off that Super Seven Cyborg Shattered Glass Prime today, so. All right. See, I mean, that's just too far. Maybe it, it is it's too just far. gone. They've gone too far. But Red, like maybe, maybe. I don't like I, those Super Seven Cyborgs. I feel like I feel like they do stuff like that just to make Nick buy it. Like it's just Probably. someone someone like Nick or whatever where he's like, gosh darn it, now I have to actually buy this thing. It's official. It you know, it's released. I thought it sounded like Nick earlier when I was talking about having to buy that clip jumper. <laughs> yeah. When I was having to buy slightly better cliff. Yeah, but that's I don't gonna think be it's that's gonna be cool. To it's way better. I, I it's like slightly the other worse one for you, better. right? For me, like yeah. you don't like it, yeah. Like you don't dislike it because that no, would mean I, that you I don't dislike the mold for cell shaded windows. That's all. Oh, neither do I. But I really want that gray. I don't like that. It's not really a Studio Series toy. Mm. Like all, they gave all it a Studio Series designation, man. I know. I know that. I'm just, what, 13 or whatever? It just doesn't fit the bill of what Studio Series is supposed to be. But then again, no, Studio sense. Series and War for Cybertron, they're all under generations, so they're all from the same tree, which I have to admit. So it's like... I feel like the, both of those figures are going to be worth a bajillion dollars. Because... Oh yeah. Like, it's going to be one of those things where it's only in Buzzworthy, and so it's only going to be released in the, like, there's going to be limited, like, you know, it might be the U.S., like, maybe Canada, whatever, and and it's going to be more accurate to the show that, like, everyone's going to want, or to the movie or whatever, and so, like, oh, yeah. it's it, it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be worth, like, $200 in, like, two years. 
maybe less. So my favorite thing about this figure, I'm finally going to talk about it, is that some of us have 50 of these guys laying around, 50 bumblebees of various types, and he's got awesome little pegs on his wings. So he can become the bumblebee troop transport. Wow. Yeah, you can decorate him with bumblebees, and they can go for, like, they can fly in and get dropped from them. Super fun to me. Very much amuses me. Well, you should put Cliff Jumper on him, because that's accurate, that's his, right? That's his friend, yeah. Yeah. G, like, G1 Cliff Jumper rolls with SG Megatron. Yep, they're BFFs. Is that some sort of, like, universe jumping nonsense adventure? Yeah, that's the original Shadow Glass story. Okay. I never read it. Oh, yeah. Cliff Jumper goes to Shadow Glass and teams up the Decepticons because he can't team up with the Autobots. It was, was for elite rich people. I couldn't read it. Cue up the sunny and it's always sunny in Philadelphia music. Cliff Jumper heads to the Shatter Glass universe. I also did release that book at Diamond for like $3. So. Yeah, you only right. have yourself to play, man. So, some of us don't have that diamond money. I mean, come on, Christian. All right. So, so I, I can't, I can't tell you what to do if you don't have $3. Don't collect toys. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, collect, like, ants or... L- Lucas, if I had to put on my, my uh, meteoro- Transformer meteorologist uh, hat, I would say your prediction of rain on those Buzzworthy Bumblebee toys is 100% precipitation. So, what does that hat look like? A sombrero. Cool. All right. On that like this, note, it looks like this Captain America shield. All right. So, so I do want to note uh, this week on Book Club is going to be more than meets the eye, fifty six and fifty seven. So they'll be wrapping up more than meets the eye. Wow. Uh, what a journey so it's been, Book Club. Yeah. Yeah. What happens? Uh, we, I guess that's the whole point of the book club, right? So never. Right, 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 right. right. I always, I always ask that. Read, read it and, and and join us. Uh, what is it? Uh, Sunday at nine thirty Eastern, eight thirty Central on the TF Talk Discord. Yep. So. That's the end of Remain in Light. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, right. Good times. I'm gonna guess that it is into something so all right well do we have uh, anything else we want to know before we wrap here if you guys have suggestions for us for next week let us know oh, yeah. shatter glass megs do you gotta get it oh, oh yeah no you don't gotta you don't have to do anything we believe in freedom here <laughs> Uh, sure. Why not? I mean, if you're gonna, no, but, I, but I, to me, I feel like I don't know. I know Anna's probably one of these people that like can get like one shattered glass mold. For me, absolutely. I feel like it would open the door, and then I would like have to get all the other shattered glass too. So, which I am, and so, but again, it's so. Yeah, for, I, th- for, I think for, I think it's I think it's all or nothing on this stuff. Really, like I wouldn't nope. dabble. There's more, there's more coming. <laughs> are you, are you yeah, surprised that I'm coming. dabbling? I'm only dabbling because I don't want to buy another Jetfire. Oh, yeah, that's a tough one. Like I don't want to do one. it. But I do like this a lot. I think this is really fun. I think if you can appreciate I think if you plan to play with this and actually mess around with it and pose it and do things with it, it's definitely worth getting. If it's just going to the shelf and you don't do Shattered Glass, there's probably no point. But... If you're actually going to mess with that, I think it's definitely worth it. It's really cool for a mess with toy. Yeah, it's the best version of this mold. I hope it's the last version of this mold. <laughs> At least as Megatron. They could do somebody else with it, I guess. I I, I can't predict the future, but like it's if it's not if it's going to be Megatron, then it can be done. Um, My final thought, uh, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you heard of Mega on your Lega. You, wow. you can barely see that anyway. Cause barely see like it. Your freaking background. You know, you know what I was doing. So. Uh, 
So yeah, it absorbed half your leg, so it was just like a floating foot. It was pretty weird. Randall is but asking for uh, Slammer next week. I will not be able to pull that off. I'm sorry. Good luck, bro. <laughs> what do you, do you guys haven't happiness? gotten your Slammer yet? You guys haven't got out of BBTS. I've got other stuff Where? I don't even remember. Huh? It's uh, my mine's hanging at my house. No, I don't have that. Yeah. I ain't slamming nothing. You finally switched places with me again. I've been getting everything first for the past three months. Well, yeah, but that's because I did, shipped my all BBTS all order. Yeah, and I didn't. Yeah. So. Got to get that yeah. Santa Prime, man. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I do want that Santa Prime, but I feel like it's gonna come after the holidays. I do too. So I saw that um, that the uh, da, 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 what the hell are they called? Um, Block Beast Beast Box. There we go. Um, I saw that the Beast Box company is doing a Santa block, but it doesn't come until next year. So it's like Not they announce it around the holidays, and it's like, oh, look at Santa on his sleigh, and it's so cute, and you'll get it next year. Good luck. I love the Santa Optimus. I wish, I just wish it wasn't a super or a whatever I agree, action yeah. toy. I, w- I wish I it was, I wish it was this guy, you know? I would, like, I would buy that so fast. Yeah, it would, it would sell like crazy. Last year they did all those stormtroopers. That's true. Yeah, that, I bought all of that them. That were holiday guys. That was super cool. Do it I again. Do it ag- I was hoping they do it again this year because they got do more. Do it money. again. Fuck Stop no. It. Come on. I'd go for Thank it too. For the Christmas Death Trooper and probably Commando do it. And... What if it was Christmas Radatron? Would that be better? Yes. Then Super Seven, I agree too. What if they turned Cheetor into Rudolph and gave him a red nose? Fantastic. That'd be awesome. I still would like a, a special, you know, Bot Bot's Christmas ornament assortment. Oh, Catherine Just says like, she needs a candy cane striped seeker. Sure. Well, that's shattered glass Starscream, so you got yeah. one coming. Get that too. Not for the holidays. She's though. very excited about the shattered glass Starscream. Yeah, you I got think delayed. Was awful. I'm also skipping him. I forgot. I'm also skipping him because I think he doesn't look good. That was a mistake. I have a prototype of the original of that. That's cool. Ooh. Look up. Uh, here, here's a tip for everybody. Look up Starscream's Big Night Out. If you want to see some old school toy reveals the way it used to be done. Ooh. Starscream's Big Night Out. It's on Flickr. It's a whole photo album. Flickr. You know, the best toy, re- the best toy reviews do require beards. So... <laughs> Maybe that was the the whole point of why all the guys in the show have facial hair. Beard toy reviews. Reveals. Reveals. Sorry. All right. Well, I guess on on that note, thank you guys for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, Thanks to Randall, Catherine. Thanks to Phil. uh, Thanks to Ron. Um, Yeah. And thanks, uh, Paul, for joining us uh, tonight. Thanks for having me. And thanks to us. Yes. And, and most of yes. all, thanks to you, Anna. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, Again, I'm brain in the humor. Brain in the humor. There you go. That's right. All right. Well, guys, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.